um, everybody will have an opportunity to say their name and say something small. So if you took time to read, write your tribute, you could, you could read that. But if not, you can say something. So we'll start from the youngest, then we'll come this way. about him and the stories that have had been told, we take that he was a kind and God-fearing man who loved and adored his family. He was a great man, a wonderful mentor, who lived a life of prayer, generosity, humility, courage, and integrity. Naitwa uh, Petra Kerubo, Mariaria. I don't have much to say, but masaza ni nikuwa na kujua kumitimbelea, kuna kitu mwaji ya lukuna shinda kinyambia, maombi. Tushinde tukiomba, tujieke mbelea mungu, tunyenyeke, na tupende kila mtu, tusikuwe na chuki. Then, leo tumekusanyika huku, to celebrate his life. Like, he lived a life of humility akaishi maisha upendo na alikuwa akipenda familia yake sana so tufuate nayo zake na we continue with the same spirit of love thank you mimi naitwa Alan a senior mariaria na Neil I'll just be brief and uh, I'll uh, literally talk to him I'll read my tribute uh, you died slowly over the past seven and a half years in the battle. I had never imagined you dying before. I didn't think you were invisible, but I thought you still had time. Uh, I'm feeling the sudden weight of what it means to be a son who has lost a father. Uh, we treated you with uh, a lot of respect, and I think you know that. I hope you do. That's what you tried to do. You fought a good fight. It was a stolen time in the end of it all. And may you rest in peace, General. Maria um, Edwina, I know I wrote a lot about that, but I know I say little. I know death dropped him away when we did not him the most. I remember his smile, him telling us a lot of stories about the Bible, him teaching us about life. And I also remember him one time telling us, put books first, then men later. And then he used to call them Yenas. And he always let me know he's my first love. So I tell him, hey love, rest in peace. My name is Lamek Mugira. I am the husband to Harriet. <coughs> what I would like to say about Mze is that uh, I would never have asked for a better father-in-law than him. He was a gentleman. From the first day he came to this family, he welcomed me well during our introduction. And he gave me his blessings to go on with my plans. When he went for treatment, actually the first time he was in the ICU, then he later came out. I'd even told her that if he, when he comes back, over Easter, we go and see him. So I was hopeful that he was coming back, as he always does, so that we can come and see him. Unfortunately, that, that didn't happen. But we're together in all this, and I would like to say, rest in peace, Mze. Um, Harriet Maria, <coughs> what I would like to say, Dad, your guiding hand on my shoulder will remain with me forever. Rest in peace. I could have written a lot about that, but I call it 
any words to describe it. If I could uh, find words, then it could have been a book. I knew a lot about that, uh, how caring he was since I was a little boy. I had a privilege to, to stay with, uh, with the entire family when I was young, and I knew exactly what he wanted of us. Have peace, unity, and uh, holding hands. Uh, we, in, 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 in it, our brothers and sisters to hold each other's hands and uh, stay away from conflict. I think that is uh, his motto. I think I could say a lot, but uh, may his soul rest in peace. <coughs> I'm um, Jambuni um, Zauter. So, I am a kid who is 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 a kid but unfortunately, things did not go as planned. The day I introduced that lady to him, in fact, he was my brother Abel, he called me later on after we had talked, the three of us, and he gave me certain advices that I've been using in my life. For in, I'll read them and I'll make them very short, precise, concise, and to the point. The first one, Al Nyambia. You need to walk your own path. Usia yangalia mtu mingine. We ukona maisha yako as Roy. If somebody is successful somewhere, that is his. We will build your own self and work on your own self. And I've been doing that ever since. He told me, don't hesitate when you should act. If you see an opportunity, always move very fast and grab it. Don't wait for somebody else. Maybe you can let somebody advise you, but the final decision will always be yours. Experience what you have learned. Personally, in life, I've learned very many things. Mabaya and Amazuri. We never grew up in this place, but somewhere in 2000, somehow in 2008, we ended up here. We used to discuss with my brother Abel when we were at Masenda University that at some point, we we'll have to look for our roots. Na mungu pia alikuwa na yon pang. And it happened, though in not a manner that I would have wanted, but at least we came and now I have a big family that I also look up to. The next one, good things don't come easy. You have to sweat. And even if it means sweating blood, at the end of the day, you let, you'll reap something good. Next one, never fail to try more. Personally, I don't believe Okay, I know when to choose to give up and when not to give up. And I know when success is just knocking by the corner. So giving up, I believe in this family, is not easy. Even as much as he has left us, I know he has left us as a family unit. And we need to hold on to that and love one another. Just like even when he was sick, everybody was doing contribution. Me personally, I walked out of my job. So I don't have much. I was placed in a group. But then I told my brother, please kindly excuse me from that group. I cannot give anything. But my brothers and sisters contributed a lot, and none of them has castigated me over that. That is the kind of love that we need to have as a family. Take care of your health early. We all know that Mze has been battling cancer. And cancer, to more or less, is a lifestyle disease. We need to look at what we eat, how we eat it, and very many things, even if it means exercising. My brother Zidi here, and all of us, when we came here, the first thing he took us to, he lekwa ni pale kwa sham, ukata miti. Personally, I had never done it before. Then the chapa zingine charge, and I said, ah, apa siwezi. I decided to walk off. Mzee looked at me, he didn't say anything. In the evening, as we used to do. Then that night, when I went to my room, I asked myself, I thought he was going to 
really hit on me or with my brother Zaidi. Because personally, I'm older than him. I'm supposed to be leading him properly, easily. But in that instance, I was misleading him. So he had a way of letting you see your mistakes. And if you are courageous enough, you'll go and apologize, or you make changes the following day. day. That is something I picked. Make every moment count. The moments we had with him, personally, I didn't have, I wasn't that close to him as I would say my brother. But everything that he taught me, I hold it dear to my heart. And I try to apply it in my life as much as possible. So even right now, the moment we are spending here, we need to make every moment count. Let it not just end here that some will go to Nairobi and all that. Last, was it in 2018, my brother invited me for it was a, a family get together. By then I'd worked out of my job, I didn't have money. So I said, I'll not come. But deep down, I know it's something that I needed to be part of. So. Maybe we can make a resolution as a family. And from today on, every December, we need to hold one so that we can at least have a get together and make this bond even tighter. Live and let live. That simply means that there are lessons that you learn in life. Don't have that island mentality whereby you think you know it all. You need to share. Are we together? And then the, the last one I'll say to Manas, we belong to the middle house. We've lost our mom, and now we've lost our dad. Our mom wanted me to take over as the leadership of the family, but I said no because I knew I cannot do it. And I told her to kindly give it to you. I knew why I was saying that. Because I grew up with you, we were born together. I know what you can do. And so far, even Mzee, when we came here, Mzee also did the same thing. So meaning, in other words, they were concurring with each other. Right now, we've lost all of them. The, the task ahead may not be easy. But I know you can, you can do it. So, I'm happy you not disappointed me. <laughs> Just continue. Thank you. I'm Jambo. I'm Masi Manas. Abel is my husband. I joined this family in 2015 August. And uh, my father-in-law invited me to the family. He was a loving father, and I remember when I came here, he told me that now they are my first parents. And no single day did he ever call me by my name. He always called me my daughter. He really loved us, and I know that we will really miss him. He was a man who loved God. Uh, during the night devotions, there is one time that... Uh, he gave me a Bible, a children's Bible, and he told me that uh, he wants me to be a teacher, a teacher of the children in the church. And I pray that God may help me so that I may fulfill his dream. Another thing uh, is that um, he really loved his children and his family, and we stay in Homa Bay. Wherever, whenever we called, he ensured that we talked to everyone that was uh, in the house or at home. So I would like to tell my sisters and my brothers that uh, let us continue with the love that our father wanted us to have as a family. May he rest in peace. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise him once more. Amen. I take this opportunity. My name is Abel. Manas Mariaria, and the one who just finished talking is Kane Roy. Kane Roy normally tells me that I'm the reason why I was called Kane. Uh, we are twins. My first encounter with Dad, I wanted to marry, and Dad told me, 
But my son, the lady that you will bring to me will be the final one. We send the letter, Mshana, Leo, and then in Ginda Tenda in Abadeleka. So I started learning that. That was particular. So I took my time in the college. I took my time to look for the best <laughs> so that I can make sure that I don't change. And I have no regrets. And I have to thank God for that. And most importantly, I have to thank my dad, who is now resting. The second encounter, we normally uh, have a family gathering in the evening. We normally pray as a family. And there was a day dad told us uh, that I have some special gift that I want to give you. So we were very anxious. Tulekwa tunangoja. We are anxious, we went to the table very early so that we can uh, pray so that the gifts can come. The gifts that dad gave us were gambut. <laughs> Those ones were the gifts. And he told us that these are your gifts. So we were just wondering that gambut can be a gift. Kumbe, dad wanted us to work. He taught us to work, and we were working. We were working in the farm, and Dad could come with with with, with a, 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 a sugar cane on his, uh, on his shoulders when we had worked. As we was uh, we were uh, we were thinking that mze angebeba chakula to lete. Lakini anakuja la nini? Sacks of sugar cane kwa farm. Alafu na tuambia ya kwamba watoto wangu. Najua mmefanya kazi ngumu na sasa nimewapatia glucose. Hizi glucose ya dukani lakini hii ni glucose ya natural. Wakati tulikuwa tunatafuna I'm telling you baada ya kuconsume we were not even feeling any pangs of anger. Tulikuwa tunaendelea na nini? Na kazi. La mwisho dad really loved the bible. And I'm very lucky that I had a, a, such a dad. <coughs> dad had expensive Bibles, big ones. Every, uh, every moment that we were praying as a family, Dad could give us gifts uh, 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 in the Bible. He could gi uh, give us Bibles, he could give us LNG whites, and he could even tell us after, after uh, giving us that how is the book. He normally uh, uh, fo follows up if you are really reading the book. So I, I, I really have to thank him for that. Otherwise, I could have said more, but I just want to say that Dad told us that we are his quivers. And if we are his quivers, he has shot us to the world. And if he has shot us to the world, then we have to be the, the light and the salt of this world. I get that from Psalms chapter 119 and verses 105. So I just want to challenge my siblings that let us live uh, uh, with that, that God has shot us to the world. Wherever we are, we should uh, always uh, 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 be the salt and the light of this world. Uh, he, normally he, he, he normally told me, because I was so close to him, he normally told me that my son, wewe ndiyo sasa ukokaribu na mimi. Sasa pahali ambapo naenda, lazima ukue na mimi. And I want to say that even when Harriet was getting uh, his dear husband, we went with dad. So in all these events, even funerals, I was with dad. And he was telling me that mtoto wangu wewe sasa ukuna mimi hapa, so because the, the, the other ones had uh, wakungambo, so when do ukuna mimi hapa? And I feel, I, I feel indebted for that. And that is why I stand here today, and I want to read this speech on behalf of Derek, who could have come here, but is not here with us. Church officials, distinguished guests, government officials, extended family members, 
in-laws and friends, on behalf of our parents and our families, I thank you all for being here and mourning with us. We gather here today to mourn and celebrate in equal measure the passing of the emblem of greatness in our family and far beyond. We as his children admit that losing him is one of the most difficult things we have gone through. As we stand here today, we realize how fortunate we were to have him as our father. There are not words to express his influence in our lives. Of the many years God granted life to our late dad, we as his children confidently confirm he was someone to look up to, someone to follow, someone to admire, someone to be proud of, and someone to brag about, someone to learn from, and someone to respect, someone to listen to, and someone to talk to, someone to try and, some, and, and impress, sometimes rebel against, but later on learn to him. A disciplinarian, an untiring hard worker, humorous, and most of all, someone who not only brought us to this world, but offered everything this life has to offer, that is, he instilled the fear of God in us. And I want to challenge my siblings that if, if in terms of spirituality, please, please consider that and, and uh, come back to, uh, to the way. We are so incredibly grateful, grateful and happy, and hereby stand today and acknowledge we had all this and much and much more from our beloved dad. To say we have loved our dad would be an understatement. And to say we are going to miss him, it would be even a greater understatement. We cannot begin to imagine not having dad on the end of a phone or popping around at a moment's notice to assist. In this ever graceful manner, with any project, great or small, dad was always there for everyone, neighbors, colleagues, and friends. Dad's love was unconditional. His compassion and empathy towards everyone was awesome. He taught us many things. Many things, and importantly, he gave us the ability to know that if you really put your mind into something, anything is possible, and never to be afraid to give anything a go. This is something we would cherish from him and take, him, uh, take it with us forever. Indeed, his kindness and generosity will be remembered by all who had the pleasure of knowing him. Our father was hardworking, strong, loving and gentle. He was deeply devoted to those around him despite his busy schedule. He taught us to love and to care for one another. He loved reading the Bible and always said that his holy book is his television. He loved farm work and blended with his servants well as he worked with them. He was a genuinely optimistic man, a philanthropist who helped many in life. And that optimism guided us as his children and made each and every one of us believe that everything was possible. Always dad would laugh and make even difficult life situations appear simple. He was a man so proud of his children and cherished mentioning his children at gatherings. We will miss him for now, but by faith, we hope someday we'll meet him in heaven. Dad's love, patience, understanding, wisdom, and amazing sense of humor will live on inside us forever. He has given us gifts that are far more precious than anything else in this world. Till we meet again in heaven, we'll always live, he will always live in our hearts. We love them more, but God loved them most. May the Lord bless us. <coughs> Asante. Amjam. Kama jina naitwa Lisa Maria Ria. 
Mindi wa pili katika boma. And uh, I have a lot to say about my dad. If I was to say everything about him, I would write a whole book. I can only cite but a few. My father was a giant. Inside, he was a giant. But outside, he portrayed simplicity, humility. Anyone who met him on the roads, hakuwe jua yule mze, alikuwa vila alivyo kuwa. Citing an incident, when I was going to India, tuliingia kwa matatu, baba alibeba maindi, akaweka kwa mugongo na akabeba kwenda kwa matatu. And I could see everybody makanga pale kila mutu, umo gambi, can I help you? They wanted to carry for him. The respect they showed him. He commanded that kind of friendliness, respect from everybody he touched. I have not only lost a father, but a mentor in every, in every way. And uh, I remember when, when uh, my daughter lost her father, my father stepped in the shoes of a father and a grandfather and mentored my daughter and made my daughter who she is today. <coughs> and for that, my daughter gave a very, I uh, gave a tribute which I will read later on. I may not have been talking with my father a lot. My sister here had the opportunity of speaking with my father a lot. Mine was, I think, a silent communication with my father. We understood each other somehow. One time I remember they had gone for a funeral and they went looking for Rinagu. I was a little kid. They looked all over. They couldn't find Rinagu. For some reason, I took, my, I took some money from the house. I've never done it before. I took some money. I bought Rinagu in Kayeka. And when they came in the evening, they found it in a wear mesa. So he asked me, how did you know I was looking for these vegetables? In many occasions, we spoke silently. My father was one never to give up. He never gave up. You would refuse him something here, but trust me, he would get it. When he was uh, in Pirate Rambod, the minister in charge of trade refused to give him a license. And he laughed and told him, I will get it. And the man thought it was a joke. And he went straight to Mze Moi. When they were having, I think you've seen photographs of dad with Moi. When he came to his Gibanda, dad manipulated and made sure that the president made it to his kibanda. That was the only opportunity he could get to talk to this man. And he requested for that license. But because of his humility and his good heart, the man was standing, I think if you saw, you see the clips of that time, this minister was sweating, busy wiping his sweat, thinking that my father would say, this man has refused to give me the license. He never did that. Later on is when he joked and told him, I told you I would get it. I have it. My father never gave up. He never gave up on anything. When he chose to do something, he did it. And I think I have picked that from him. He made us who we are today. He never gave up on us. He made sure that we read widely. Regardless of who you are, the children he's mentored in this compound, I think I'm in. You can't count. We lost count because if they were to be placed here, I think they would be more than us. I want a moment. If I'm to say everything about that, I think I'll go on and on and on. And uh, my daughter happens to be the oldest grandchild of my father. And he loved his grandchildren so, so much. I remember when she came here, he didn't want her to do any work. When the others were working, he would call her and tell her, Mochokoro, come, you sit here. Let the rest go and do the work for. That is what they are here to do. But Mochokoro never did work. He slaughtered a goat for her. 
knowing very well she doesn't eat goat meat, I would talk to her. And that is what he did, and that is what has made my daughter who she is today. My daughter has given my father grandchildren. My great-grandchildren. My father was blessed to see his great-grandchildren, two of them. Shortly before he left for his treatment, they were with him. And I will read Wendy's tribute as the first grandchild of this home. The day has come when we say goodbye, Grandpa. May your soul rest in peace. I am forever grateful to you for you are more than just my grandfather. You are a father I lacked when I was growing up. There are so many building blocks and pillars you placed in my life that made me who I am today. You encouraged me at my darkest times and enlightened me to be opt optimistic in my challenging times through the word of God. You also set the bar high by attaining a master's which I am looking forward to surpass as the first grandchild. Your home has always been welcoming place for me, for most. You've done so much, I cannot tell it all. On this day, I choose to celebrate your life, the life you lived. May you rest in peace, Grandpa. We love you as you live in our hearts and memories forever. Your grandchild, Wendy. Uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, this is one of those rare moments when we are sad and at the same time want to celebrate. We are celebrating because we are celebrating the life of a humble, loving a parent. I'm privileged to have been married into this home. My name is Charles Abebe, married to uh, Phoebe uh, Osebe uh, Abebe. I wish to, stay, to say from the onset uh, our sincere apologies. The team from Kabondo very much wanted to be here, but, but because of the prevailing situation, they were not able to come. We were fearful because we were told the administration had said the function is strictly for the family. And for that reason we said they will come at that one moment when the rest of the team will be enabled to come here. I also say the same for the other children who are not able to come. We have our children, that is his grandchildren, Mona and Ashley. Together with the other children at the US, we have Derek, we have uh, Lona, we have Lamek, we have Aline, and we have Judy at Canada. We remember them together with the rest of their uh, spouses, that is Siston, um, Clive, and, and John, Ruth, and Millie, those who were not able to come, together with Phoebe's mom, who also was left in Nairobi. You know, and most of you may know the reason why uh, she's not able to come. However, we are saying, we celebrate the life of Mze. We thank God for the time that we were able to spend with him, a very humble, loving Mze. One testimony, just to attest to what the children have already said, they're not really, I mean, they're not, uh, they're not saying it out of, to please you, but it's a fact. There was a day, one of the last moments that we, uh, we had an opportunity to speak to him. As I was driving, uh, we were going to uh, Rungai, and uh, Phoebe was talking to Mze, and then suddenly she tells me, you pray. You can imagine I was on the driving wheel, and she's telling me to pray. Now, I remembered my relationship with Mze. I thought it was going to be very casual for me to pray when I'm driving. She may have not understood why I said I could not pray at that time, but the fact is that I could not pretend to be praying, my eyes open, knowing that we pray with our eyes closed. It's not because that we really didn't feel like pray, praying for Mze. Indeed, every morning we prayed for Mze, but we are saying we accept God's will, uh, that it had to happen. Uh, when it happened, the pain Mze was going through, I believe, it was in order to maybe allow him to rest. I believe most of us would not uh, wish to have somebody suffering in pain and yet nothing can be done even though it is painful for us but god uh, our creator knows the reason why he allowed it to happen my prayer and my plea to all of us who are here this morning a place remember to pray for these children it's not going to be an easy time and one thing i want to tell you uh, the larger uh, maria family you can agree to disagree 
but that should not make you, you know, have fear and enmity amongst yourselves. Uh, please inculcate the same culture that Muse had, loving, caring, humble. He didn't have differences with anyone, and that's why we have in this home families from across the country. We don't have any tribe that is not represented here. So let's, let's embrace the same, same characteristic that, that he taught us, that you can still love despite our differences. I believe there are occasions where you'll find there are things you don't agree on. But please emulate the love that he taught us, because I believe with the love we can do much more than when we are fighting amongst each other. There are things you may not agree on at some certain times, but still you can come together and agree and say that we can agree to disagree, but in principle we know the reasons why sometimes we may not agree on everything. But in terms of love and unity, the home can only grow forward you know, and move uh, to even higher levels when you inculcate the culture of love. May our Lord uh, be with all of you, and we are saying there are baby families, those who are not able to come, they are with you at this time, and I believe when the time comes that it's going to be possible, they'll come and be with you again at another time. May you all be blessed. Well, Kira, we are Mwensi. I'm Jambo. I'm Tanirusu, and I'm going to go to Kimombo. Asanteni. Um, we gather here to lay to rest my daddy and everybody has an opportunity to have one real daddy in life and for us that was our real daddy. I want to thank God for all my family, you've heard what they've said. I want to extend a hand of uh, welcome to the new entrants in our family. I think it, will, it's, it sounds strange to a lot of your ears, but one of the things that Daddy did for us was bring up children in unity. Those of us who had the privilege to be his first fruits will have stories that may probably make you green in envy. But also, some of you benefited from uh, where we had reached. So like uh, in later, I remember in early years, daddy was, okay, we were many. I remember we were like eight children and daddy had a, a red Datsun 120Y. And all of us would be in that car, sometimes with the house help. So Munabebana, everybody would be in that car. And when he worked at Coast, when he was working with KCB, he, he would show his family, the world, what he knew as the world at the time. We have photographs of the family on Mombasa at the beach, but in our Sunday best, yeah? Remember, he's a man from Gesusu. He didn't bring us up with swimming costumes and bikinis, but we, we knew we wore Sabbath best, and so he took us to feel the sand and touch it and make castles on the sand, and uh, my mom was wearing a maxi, I remember, yeah? But he took his family to Mombasa, yeah? And he took us back. And I remember one time we were in Nairobi, we are driving back, we are all in the car. He stopped in Nairobi and he's telling my mom, look around, look around, what do you see? He says there are very many people. He says, no, look properly. You know, he wanted her to look with a woman's eye and she still couldn't see it. She was holding, um, Aline was the baby. He said, open shoes are in fashion now. Yeah, all the ladies are walking around in open shoes. <laughs> and we're like, that, where did that come from, you know? <laughs> and uh, what he did, the shoes that were in fashion, he bought for his sisters. Because, you know, as we were children, he bought for mama and his sisters. So, Auntie Tabby, Auntie Jane, you know you wore my dad's shoes when you were in college, because they were in fashion, you know? And Auntie Tabitha, you know? And when Kitenges were in fashion, anytime you travel, you bring Kitenges and uh, give the women in his life to, to stitch. Sometimes we'd even just stitch for them, yeah? And, um... By the time I went to university, yellow and black was the in color before it became a city council color <laughs> in Nairobi. He stitched me my first black and white, black and uh, yellow dress. He had my measurements, dad had a tailoring shop. And I wore that dress with such joy from this home, walking to Mekenene Church four kilometers and back. I used to wash it and wear it every Sabbath because I was on point. You understand? Yeah. 
so that is the daddy that uh, we, we, we had the privilege of knowing. But later years now we are working, anytime dad would go abroad for treatment, he would remember, ah, Harriet is in university now, she needs a laptop. Edwina is in university now, she needs a laptop. He would tell my brothers there, give me computers for your sisters, you know, and those computers would come. Am I lying? It's true. So he made sure that we all knew that we were all interdependent, that if you're at a place where you have something and someone needs it, you passed it down. And my prayer is, as we get older, some of us will be 70. When I'm 70, some of you will be 40. You also pass back. Yeah? We have to keep pulling each other up. You know, whoever is up pulls the other ones up. I think at this point, I really just want to welcome all of you. I pray that we can meet more frequently and love each other and do not allow mothers to divide us. That is one thing my father did. He, he used to tell us, when we used to be here, anytime there was a disagreement, we had family barazas. Who remembers family baraza? If somebody misbehaved, they were disciplined in the family baraza and it was verbal. Haikuwa viboko. Mtu anaulizwa makosa yake, especially, and you are not embarrassed the first time. It had to have been after the third warning and you are still not listening, isn't it? Then you are summoned and disciplined in front of everyone. Ili iwe funzo. And indeed it was a funzo. And once people realized that, ah, what so and so did was wrong, nobody else did it. But those meetings always ended well. After he was done with the disciplining, we would get his stories about his childhood, his upbringing. He would open our worldview. People would ask anything, career questions. And we had such a wonderful, wonderful time. And more than once, he would tell us, your mothers have their homes, but you don't have any other home. This is your home. So people, this is your home. You don't have any other home. You have to make it work. You either make it work or you kill each other here. And that is not going to happen because we've been raised right. And we are going to be a family that loves each other. At this point, I really want to appreciate everybody who has put in any kind of help while daddy was alive to make a difference, especially when his illness started. I want to thank everybody. You know, there was a time the older children would carry the financial burden with daddy, but then after a while, we spread it out. And as many of you as could, I want to thank you for bringing in your money from time to time. Thank you, Lamek, thank you, Bonuke, Lona, Judy, uh, uh, Aline, everybody, mom, auntie, everybody. We all contributed and we did our best for daddy. I want to thank Lista in a special way. While we're in the Kenya chapter, we had a way of managing Mze. In the Kenya chapter, Mze got a drug that used to come monthly, a very expensive drug. So Lista's job was to run to KRA, clear it, and ensure she brought it home. Every month, regardless of her schedule, she did it. On the other side, the responsibility was to apply to the university every month to ensure that drug came on time. Over and above that, any time daddy would be on treatment here at home, you know treatment, you're at home and you're in hospital. We thank God for Auntie Eunice, who used to ensure she gave him the nourishment he required while he was here. She took care of him, and for that, Auntie Eunice, we want to thank you and anyone that you used to work with around here. Anytime daddy was in Nairobi, Mama Asenath, Uncle Gilbert, you know there are many people when they have patients in Nairobi, they rent, uh, they rent hotel rooms. We never rented a hotel room for daddy because we knew his best friend was, also, he was in Nairobi. And that was a house of prayer. It was the right place for daddy to be in. So we want to thank you, Auntie Asenath, for your family. It wasn't just you and, and, and daddy now that did it, but even your children, Kina Kemi, Kina Cheryl, we thank God for you. I want to come back and thank my mother. My mother did a lot. In the background, any time daddy was doing his quarterly checkup in Nairobi, we are down in money. Mom's money always came through. Any time we had funeral functions here in Kenya that, that affected us, where we are married, everywhere, Daddy and Auntie Eunice always went. Mommy sent money that facilitated things. 
So you can see in our own way, there was a way this family was working well as a conveyor belt. And now that that is not there, I pray that that unity may still happen in whichever level that the mothers that are surviving can manage. The other thing I want to tell the mothers that have remained in this home, Mama Mary, Nondoche, you are my mother, but now you are a mother to all these children as well, as well as the ones that are abroad, as well as the spouses that, are, that all these children have brought and those that will come. Continue loving us. Mama Eunice, we need you. Continue loving us. Kitogo chaiga, bono nae toroche. Konga, we'll try to give you an easy time. Umano underwent your kwa a difficult time. Let us know we still have uncles. So we make this family stand. If we don't make it stand, everybody will laugh at us. And I want to thank all of you for what you've done. At this point, I also want to thank a team of do all the doctors who've ever worked on that, all the good friends that brought good advices, the dietary support. I want to thank all the parents, uh, our parents-in-laws, the Umbasas in particular who lived with daddy and their children. Thank them for us. All our friends, especially in America, who really minister to daddy's spirituality, the pastors, the choirs, everybody, we want to thank you. And all the people that did the programs and supported my siblings for the service, the other side, we thank them. When we come back to Kenya, we want to thank our big uncle, Omo Jumbe, Professor Sam Ungeri, and his family. Beyond a call of family and duty. severally. Because Bono, ntake tegoa kiraba na baba chicha se ita kuruwa karatu anyoroba kongu. Aba na aba mwensi mwa chicha. From the community around, the church, and especially, aba na aba baito kuruwa musawansi gesusu nyasaba seseni. We can never thank you enough. When we saw what you are doing, we know there is hope. In the Ungeri family, mwamanyamate ganda, we know there is hope. Our only prayer, Badimotara Mananya Sai, Omo Pasta Igaro Telenaga Igarwe Alta Cold, Mota Evan Kubati Sumore, Moro Semokubati Sawan by one a singing to your corona, Kero Montendo, but we want you to give your lives to the Lord. Yeah? Because when you add godliness to your good attitude and the energy, then you are a complete package. Today we have a special gift for the three homes. Especially Kina Manase, Abel, my brothers, and my sister here. You have two mothers in this home. You are not orphans. God brought you here for such a time as this. Because if you had not come, where would you be? These are your roots. You still have mothers to look up to. At this point, I'm going to request those gifts come. The Bible says that when a woman loses a husband, God becomes the father of the fatherless and he becomes your husband. So for the mothers in this home and the homes they represent, we want to give you the word, God himself. So I'm going to make a special request on behalf of my mother. request from the children of this home. I'm going to request um, maybe Alan, we can give this to my mother's house. And Auntie Asenat will receive it on behalf of Mama Mary. Mm. large print. It is appropriate for up to any other hundred. Yeah. 
And on behalf of the middle house, I'm going to request uh, my sister Lister to give it. We know your mother slept, but we want you to install the word of God in your home. And so I'm going to request, uh, okay, let's try and exercise uh, this, the, the distancing. I know we greeted, we are not supposed to at this time, but receive that gift of the Bible. So I request all of you, watoto wa nyumba katikati nyote kujeni mpoke Bible on behalf of your mother and on behalf of your household from Lister. Now, this is a little complicated, but it's easy. Now, Petra, you're going to give the Bible to our mother here, Eunice, but you will absorb you, where you belong. You choose where you want to go, so you're spoiled for choice. Yeah? So, Petra, come forward. I want you to give this Bible to Mama Eunice. Yeah, so, and then finally, to all our friends who are watching online, we know you'd have loved to be here, but you're not here. We thank you. Keep praying for this family, and um, we want to just thank you, thank God for you. May God bless you all. Yes. Uh, you can pray and, and get seated. Get seated. It, it was really uh, a family affair, and you have done it. You have taken it long. But thank you very much. Yeah, you can see it. Uh, kuna watu wamefanya kazi nzuri. That's why they have taken long. You can excuse us. And because it was a family affair, that's why they have taken that long. Uh, kwa sasa nataka tu wale ambao nitaita dakika moja kwa sababu saa imeenda na tumechelewa na serikali imetuangalia sawa sawa kwa hivyo mkuje kwa dakika moja mbili hivi dakika moja tu dakika moja mbili yani ni kusimama tu kusalimia watu matrita hako wapi matrita matrita hako wapi Nataka usalimia wako, huko hapi? Oh, matrita. Asanti. Asanti. Kale, kale kadoo kabisa, alitusaidia. Alitusaidia. Uh, Asnat, uwe tayari, uwe tayari. Cliff, uh, usimama tu usalimia watu, daika moja. Asante, principal, principal, uh, Mwangori, uyo, uyo ni mpenzi wa wote, ndiyo wote ni, ni wasafi pia na yeye, hako katika arainio, principal. May I take this opportunity to greet you, though we have our challenges, to have lost our beloved Mze. Good morning. Personally, I think I've already said from the beginning I was affected because we say we have worked with him for almost 10 years. All the transformation that you are seeing in that school, them say was involved. He was just at the center. And that's why, personally, I really miss him because we have been together in the same office, working together for the sake of our children. And uh, the message that I've gotten from uh, his children, I also even confirmed because in that school already has over 12 children that he's nurturing. 
and I remember last time when I came I mentioned about it. So we are really missing him on behalf of the board of management. We are really affected with his uh, words of wisdom because he was supposed to be there all through to continue helping us, but now God has taken him. And we want to thank God for that because he's the one who has made all this the way it is now. Two, may I also take this opportunity to thank all those uh, that were involved in the arrangement because personally I used even to link up with those who are in USA to find out how it's faring on. But for sure, you have done a lot. I want to be honest that you have done a lot because he used to update me every time. He used even to call me while he's there. Here in Kenya, he used to call me even when he was in Nairobi. His brother, Gribat, confirms. He used to talk with me every time. So we have lost a man. And I know, uh, as the children have said, for sure he was an asset in the family. But we thank God that now he has arrested because he was in the house of the Lord. The church members, you see exactly what he has been doing for you there. I want to thank you and emulate what he has been doing for you so that you can prosper as we see him through you. The children that went through my school, especially like in Aydin, is only children. I'm talking about before I talk about extended children. We had again a two, that is Edina, and Helen went through the school, and I know they are very successful. We hope that by in the near future, they are also going to set through and serve this country and even beyond. I want to wish you a lot of luck with your family. May God be with you, the entire family. Daniel, thank you for all that you have done, and all that is going on here. We are very grateful. Apart from all these other challenges, I am telling you, this museum, several people knew him. I'm telling you, several people knew him because I used to work with him. Sometimes you can move from here to Kisi, but it takes uh, more than uh, two hours. And remember, you are using a fix. Wherever he sees somebody, that tells you that he was a man of people. Thank you. Thank you, Principal. Thank you, Principal. Asnat. Kucha tu usalimia watu. Uyo, uyo. She has a role to play. To kishiko maari sasa, sasa ea ya ndi watasaidia. Ingawa ni wafamilia. Ok. All right. There's one thing I have to tell you, although I am a judge, if you are arrested, I will not help you. That is why we have to keep the law. As a judge, I must fear the law. So that is why you are sitting at distance. That is why we are very few here, because we are law-abiding. Um, I want to tell you a story before I say anything. And this story is not only for Mzee's children, but for all of us. There was a man who was very sick. And on his sick bed, he called his two sons. Now, this man was a believer, and one of his sons was a believer. But the other son was not a believer. So this man on his deathbed, he said to the believer, good night, son. See you in the morning. But to the non-believer, he said goodbye. And the reason here is that Mze was a believer. My own testimony, what I saw when I came into this home, is a different man. He was not in the church when I came, but he was still very loving. And one of the testimonies my husband and I have is that uh, when I was in the halls of residence, by the way, I got married when I was a first year in the University of Nairobi, studying law. And even those days, he used to call me judge. So he believed that I would be something. And um, I fell sick in the house of residence. And we had a relative who is now late. He was called Paul. And Paul went and told him that I was sick and I was in the house of residence. So he came with a red car, a red 120, 
120 why? And he put me in that car and took me to Nairobi Hospital, where there is a university, you know, where there are university doctors. He took me to Nairobi Hospital, admitted me. My husband was working in Nyeri as an auditor in the Auditor General's office. And he, he paid. You know how Nairobi Hospital is expensive? He paid and I was admitted. But those doctors, I thought they were mean because they didn't give me any medicine. They gave me a lot of water and juices. <laughs> In the morning when Mze came to discharge me, he was beaming. And he said, congratulations, you're going to be a mother. <laughs> and now we have our daughter, Vitengo, who is also a lawyer. I just want to thank God for the love that he showed me. Even when my husband was just away in Nyeri, he came to the house of residence, took me to hospital, and paid for me to be given water and juice. <laughs> and uh, forever he was our friend. I always say, to me, he was like a father-in-law. Because every time I had an issue with my husband, I knew where to run. You know, you cannot tell everybody your things. The next thing they will gossip about it to the whole village. But he could keep a, a secret. Whatever you told him, he could keep. And he loved me. He called me Mokovoti, and also he called me judge, even before I was a judge. And he could tell me, now I am hungry, can you sentence this hunger? <laughs> and so I could quickly run to the kitchen and sentence the hunger with food. And uh, he loved God. He came to know God. My husband and I saw him transformed. If there's a miracle, it's a miracle that a man who did not go to church would just drop everything and come to church and love God. And he loved God. One day, I remember he gave a testimony. We were sitting over here, and there was a choir. There were people here. And there was a, an evangelistic campaign by a group called Amkeni, Kutoka Nairobi. And he gave his testimony, and he said, I have done it all, but now I realize that all is vanity. He spoke like Solomon, and he said, fear God and keep his commandments. For everything is coming to judgment, whether good or bad. And therefore I want to say this, it does not matter how you start. What matters in this life is where you finish. And we can say with confidence that Musa finished his race in the, Lord, in, the, in the Lord's house. He was a man of prayer, and he prayed with my husband daily. I remember I could be sleeping, I sleep a lot because my work is heavy, so the only thing that relaxes me is sleep. So I would be sleeping and my husband runs over with the phone and says, can you pray with Muse? So we, we prayed up to the last moment. We fasted and we asked God to heal him. But let me tell you, we have come to accept God's will. I read in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 8, verse 8, it says that when it comes to your day to depart, nobody can escape that battle. So only God knows your day of resting, and when that day comes, nobody can escape that battle. And therefore he has run a good rest, he has kept the faith, and now there's a crown waiting, not only for him, but all those who would trust in him. And therefore I want to speak to his children in a very special way, that your father came to realize the best things in life. And now for you, mkumbuke muumba wenu siku zenu za ujana. Kama kuna mmoja kwa watoto, kama kuna mmoja kwa, kwa sisi ambaye atampokea Yesu Kristo, huu ndio wakati. I am so glad that this uh, process is being uh, streamlined and that uh, normally when we have uh, funerals, people only attend from the locality. But from there, God has made it even international. There are people who are watching us out there. And yesterday I was able to get messages that we are with you, we are seeing what's happening from the beginning. And therefore, we want to take this opportunity to glorify the God who they loved. And one more thing I just want to finish with is to tell you that uh, your experience is immaterial. Your, your current circumstances are irrelevant. Every saint has a past, but every sinner has a future, and the future starts now. One more thing, that's the thing, Muse knew the A, B, C, D of prayer. And that is one secret which I want to share with all of you who are listening here and out there, that we can all learn this secret. He learned it all in life, but he shared it with us. And he said that once you have asked God, First of all, you come to Jesus. Yeah? Ucha kwa Yesu. Na unapo kucha kwa Yesu, unapo omba, amini, pokea, na ushukuru. Na ndiyo sababu, ukisha omba, usikai uko, fanya matendo ya imani. So, atikuwa napenda kuimba, Leo uje kwa Yesu, anaweza yote. Unapo omba, 
Amini kwamba atakupa msaada na tena unapoomba jua ya kwamba Mungu atakupa msaada Mungu yajibu maombi 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 Mungu yajibu maombi maombi ya watu wake Jibiwa. Kwa hivyo mimi uh, ombi langu la mwisho ni kwamba kama kuna mmoja hapa ama hata sisi sote wenye tumempokea Yesu huu ni wakati wetu kwa sababu ya heshima ya mzee kusema ya kwamba hata sisi tunataka kutembea kwa imani mara nyingi tunaomba tu na kusema tumeamini lakini hatuna matendo ya 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 imani. Kwa hivyo kama kuna mmoja wetu anataka kusema ya kwamba hata mimi nataka nitembee na mzee. Hata ingawa alikuwa mzee wakati alimpokea Yesu, alianza maisha yake aka, akawa kiumbe kipya. Ni wangapi pamoja na mimi wanasema ya kwamba tunataka haya maisha mapya. Haleluya. Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo, umeona mikono ya watoto wako. Mzee amesungumza nasi akiwa hai. Na sasa kwa uh, kifo chake bwana tumeona utukufu wako. Ya kwamba hii hii mipangilio inaonekana kote kote huko kwa YouTube na duniani kote. Hakika bwana tumesema ni asante sana kwa sababu ya nafasi umetupatia sisi wenyewe tuweze kufanyika viumbe vipya. Neno lako linasema ya kwamba mtu yeyote akiwa ndani ya Yesu Kristo amekuwa kiumbe kipya. Mungu wetu tumeona dalili zikionekana duniani kote ya kwamba kuja kwako kuko karibu. Hatuna masaa. Mungu wetu tusiogope, tuweke macho yetu kwako, tuje kwako Yesu. Atukuamini kila mmoja wetu. Tuje ya kwamba Bwana hivi karibu utarejea. Mzee aliaga akikuamini. Na tunajua ya kwamba hadi tatu ni za kweli. Ya kwamba wale wanakufa wakikuamini uh, utawakufua. Na kwa hivyo baba na sisi sote tumesema ya kwamba utukumbuke katika ufalme wetu. Tukiwa kuna dhambi papa tuchatupu, wewe uweze kutusamehe, sisi tuweze kukupokea. Tuwe na, na, na ABCD ya maombi. Tuulize kwa sababu umetuambia tukulize chochote. Tukuamini papa, tupokee na kushukuru. Tutembea kwa imani na neno lako linasema ya kwamba wenye haki watatembea kwa imani. Mungu wetu sisi ni wenye dhambi, tuhesabie haki ndio tuweze kutembea kwa imani. Mungu wetu tunakabidhi kila kitu mikononi mwako, tumeona utukufu wako mpaka masaa haya yale yote umetutendea hata siku ya leo Bwana tunapomaliza hii sherehe, tunakabidhi kila kitu mikononi mwako. Unajua kwamba uko nasi kwa sababu ahadi zako ni za kweli. Na asante Papa kwa sababu maisha yetu yawe yamebadilika kwa sababu mzee alikuamini na maisha yake yametuhubiria. Ya kwamba aliwacha yote akaja kwako. Mungu wetu asante sana. Tukumbuke katika ufalme wako, tusamee dhambi zetu na na utupokee. Sio sisi wale tuko hapa, lakini kila jamii ambayo imewakilishwa hapa. Tumesema ni asante kwa yote Baba na ni kwa jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba na kuamini. Amen. Ah, yoma. Uh, tuanga tu usalimu watu. Kusema kina na utusalimu. Uh, good morning everybody. Okay, my name is Francis Onyango Day. Uh, how do I relate here? I relate here in two ways. One, my aunt, Rosalind Atino Kwan, is the second wife of Mr. John Ongeri. Mama Manasa. That's uh, the one who follows my dad four times. Secondly, I am a beneficiary of John's generosity from uh, uh, school level to where I am now. So it was necessary that I come and be part of this congregation, however big or small it is. What I would say is this, John was a humble man, man of God, who cherished everybody. He respected every opportunity. He believed that young men had some new things to offer. So he always gave me an opportunity to say what I had, after which he could 
rectify in case there was a mistake. So to the family, please remain the Lord where John has left you. With us, Oyoma people, we are with you because Manasseh, Abel, and Anyona are here. So we shall always be with you. God bless you. Thank you. Uh, car number, car number B, KBH 760M na car number KCA 218Y tafatali songea karibu uambiwa vila unafanya uh, wapi, wapi ule uh, fata imelo tumanase musee muamadi nafikiri amefi Mama amefika saa hizi. Ako wapi? Asimame tu tu at Mwavadi, asimame na atus Mwambadi. Mwavali. Mwavali ako wapi? Eh, eh, na chami. Ako wapi? Mama kuja haraka. Kuja, kuja haraka. Eh. Na hiyo serikali ndio ile imesimama pale. Wamfolezaji wote hamjambo Mi nasema kuole kwa familia Umfoteza huyu mzee Mbaya likuwa mzee mzuri sana Lakini tunajua mahali ameenda Tunasema mungu ampoke vizuri Asanteni kwa kila mmoja Majina ni Sera Mwangirwa Kutoka Vihiga Asanti Bwana asifiwe Asifiwe tena Tiba nanga jisika mazari kutula Vihiga Basemeni wata haleluya Bwana asifiwe Mina chukua nafasi Ni kiambia mama Wa mama wamebaki yuma Wajane Na watoto wa mzee Joni pome sana Joni alikuwa mzee mzuri sana alinikaribisha hapa tukaongea naye vizuri akaniambia alikuwa mgonjwa alikuwa ameenda ngambo na tukazunguka vizuri kile kitu alikuwa nacho alinipatia nikashukuru kwa hiyo ile nafasi Mungu alimtengenezea alim zile siku na miaka imemalizika ameenda asafidi salama salamini na wala ambao tumesaidia nyuma tuendelee na kufanya kazi iliyo nyuma yetu Wana wabariki. Wana hita Efraim wabali kutoka chakakali. Amen. Karibu. Mami Stan. Kama mami anandaya kusimama, anataka imba. One first. And the callers. Na kimalisa hivo, nirutishe kwako kwa maombi. Hili kutuwa. Amen. Uyu akimalisa, utarujisa kwa kwa maombi, kwa vile nini ni mwanaendesa kipindi hivyo. Uli itanga ni mkwa wakira ngambi ya mwana sana, asi ngeji mwachiri wato wapore. Joni naruwara, mwama nyetenga naruwara, inga kiri mtambi yake. Na wali kwa wenda ngungu uruwa ligwa, na endo irana. Na hindi na watu wakagetenga, hindi hako genda tisitai mwaru waligwe, na hindi hira nebu na kaira nire. Lakini rende, kenya areka neti, tewe tivo. Uralire, lakini wano tuanchira nire. Mbiya mwono sana, na hindi mbiya mwono asogo cha watu wapore. Mbiya mwono. Hii tanga ni, yonko wakiranga mbiya mwono asaba ntu walimu watu wati si mwensi fi, nyora wana batu evire na nchetika angirore. Mbiya mwono sana, mbiya mwono sana. Kubwa mona abantu baage susu, abantu wa minto koruge susu, mbiya mona sana. Abantu chikorera chiane, koru ngumbu, waliba amurende nga kionsi, mbiya mona sana. Chikorera chiane, koru bosongo, waliba arego cha aga iga deiri, mbiya mona sana. Kigo mwana moseni, omwana bu nuke, nyasaa warende muyansi, chievira tengima, nyasaa warende muato konya, mbiya mona. Mbiya mwono sana. Tigante ere kibunga ya kemo hiyo kane korasi. Asi ngecho ye chinsa. Oko tero uku. Uu. Wale chikorera. Kutoka chapakali. Mungu wa wapaliki sana. Pi pureset. Na mukienda muende salama. Na kutoka uyoma. Francis. Nina kuchua uko wapi. Ulikuwa hapa. Asanti sana. Mungu wa kupariki. Asanti sana. Na nakarifu.
na na mwensangu meli alitoka ngambo lakini ako na rupi tenya ale kaneti ya chiche asenge nchuyo buroiro bagenderete nere to kumusabira kakie kerara chikupimwa anyore ngambu yale anyoru ngale negative ndia mono sana nya site ga basen ndia mono tigantere ngo tere ke bunge ke mugiuka ne chorus maumbi chambo ramahana maisha ni mwamu kristo imani yetu uongeseka tunapo muomba mungu Maumbi chambo ramana maisha ni mwamu kristo imani yetu uongeseka tunapo muhomba mungu mwambie yesu yote mwenzangu na usi baba Imani ya kwamba hata chibu pombira ko Mwambie Yesu yote mwenzangu na usi baba iketena uwe na imani ya kwamba hata chibu pombira ko Ombe ni pira ya kukoma sababu ni nyakati mbaya Ombe mokosi Yesu arudi po tuweta ya liku muraki Ombe ni pira ya kukoma sababu ni nyakati mbaya Mokosi Yesu harudi po tuweta ya liku muraki. Mwambie Yesu yote mwenzangu na usi baba iketena. Uwe na imani ya kwamba hata chibu kumbira ko. Mwambie Yesu yote mwenzangu na usi baba iketena uwe na imani ya kwamba hata chibu hombira ko uwe na imani ya kwamba hata chibu hombira ko Palikiwa sana. Oya koru ku Matilda. Era nda etaba kolera iga iga lengo musani bu muaka. Elinda ikarani. Matilda. Bana yeso asifiri. Amen. Nasema kule kwa familia. My only, the only thing I can say is that family focus on God. Because when you have God, you have the love of God. And when you have the love of God, you'll be able to love your neighbor. So let the love of God, of God build in each and every one. <laughs> and look. Fix your eyes on God, just like the children of Israel fixed their eyes on the bronze snake for their healing. So, to Kim Tamazama Yesu, Kila Kitu Takua Sawa. And we surrender his soul that the Almighty Father may have mercy on him and allow him to dance with the angels in heaven. Mbari Kiwe. Wacha nitukue inafasi 
ni seme hivi mwenye kwa maite nga ya nungo nto kia ungeri nya maite nga anate nina asole sinta ya tiko hiru wadala mwa kwa raku wangu wangu mwenye kwa maite nga ya nungo nto kia ungeri nya maite nga anate nina asole awa mba wa mesimama eh, awa wate nena uh, and I exclude the family of my community, John. I go to our one to answer the kia ungeri nyamate ganda. Na abatuate namotua mwa kuriwa nere ole omot omotangi asa abati garete asa mozi ose the kia ungeri. Oyo kumovuati ya nero kumovuati ya. In town, then, sir, I can mention a sign on a tap portion yan over a year, say family. A two at ten and not a singing you try to cover a king and two now and to answer the kia, our tolmo to one to what of one jani no more. Now singing you think a guitar, a cony, a rambaro, a swatia, one and no more swat to Mora, a mintora, a dinero, monene, as I was what you answer the kia and getting a matter under our color. Tanga na guana, lakini wana serikali yote tunde tali na mosa vire na mosa ba tuwe wana ni denga na eko hera rabu anturi kora tayiro rocheri nderi onsi ngantu kuani. Igo mui karansa wantu wase dekia. Mwenye koro mwanu nyamate ganda tenena. Nyamate ganda. Ndo wana wau wase dekia no mowe chini. Mwenye koro mwanu nyamate ganda kora ki tenena. Wantu wana nyamate ganda. Matenena asemole. Awa familia ya mwa kasoko reito liko kunya matenga anda isaboke. Antu asireto to bega temo ikira kini ya koko isaboke. Na wara bu na wabu ata magombo na hende na kia koko raba bereta na na wabu akodre gasi area egendre taariro gore. Wangu baira ni limbi ya mono. Mbubu wa wanchani, mbubu wa nene mbubu wa ate. Na hindi mtu maate nga no wani goro, mtu wa tukute umo umo ngina Miriam. Iga arara mwiso onde, senge njue nse mnere, iga tukute tu gora, wandu wa ito ntuwe kete wiko, na tuwa lenge nchera gocha. Bia mwana aso gocha, mwai karansa. Mwana kuhira na ase e family, e kwa era yanda kuwa nirwe, na wana alo te akolera. Mbia mwana aso bosani, mwa wata ase joni o minto. Mota wa tenga iga moko moira moana lona amenye tena inwe na ende muna chinga kicho moelio moa beke na nete rosta ngango kerero kumurienda nyakitali ngorero kwa enda moveke tu paga chinga kero amale kwa ende kagera boku mabu aya boka wapeharibu iyo toa te wasanti asimure mwens Nira ne nte wa wa na wa mwa kajio ni minto tena where you are all the children of my brother John Maria Yonge wherever you are stand that includes you Andrew okay you have stood here you will speak in English and you have recognized the order in which things operate. I have already shown you that order from the Ongeri family. The order in our brother's home is very simple and clear. Derek is the first one now. You listen to what he said. Derek is wise enough to consult us. <coughs> Derek is wise enough to do what? To consult. There is nothing that we have done that we have never consulted each other. You also learn to consult. Last but not least, you have stood here and we have given us a very easy time. You have said that this family is united and our brother has left it united. It will never start to be disunited by any reason and for whatever reason. Principal. I'm a song yeah, so I think uh, on my part, since I do go on and on, I get to work in a more coyominto. My wife has said almost everything. The only thing in our table neck, more coyominto to a more grand than the two no more grand than the young coke more grand than the dia ege chuchu. Mongra Yunis na ako atenga korumuna aruwalete. 
we loved each other. And uh, from the time he fell sick, I promised him that any time he has an appointment in Nairobi, all he needed was to tell me and I'll pick him from here. Then when he's done, I return him here. There is not a single day I let him down. Only one day he traveled by Matatu from Nairobi because of an agency and uh, uh, something else that he came and I was very unhappy because it was very difficult for him. I don't want to go into any stories about that. We are many brothers, but they are brothers, you will say, uyu ni Rafiki yangu, tunajijua sisi wenyewe. But kuna ile unasema, uyu ni ndugu yangu. There is a difference between a brother and a friend, isn't it? For John, he was a friend. Alikuwa ni Rafiki yetu vile, and so I say this, Nani Malizi Apo, Mana Serikali Ilituambia Tungekua to Memaliza. Ni Kwamba, Nyote, Ni Mepuja Kwasabia Upendo Wenu Kwaki. May God bless you. It is very difficult uh, circumstances, but you have braved those circumstances, my God, my Kira, Asanti Asogoch. You have a tear vaiga. One nigga, Muno Mauricia, what you have, you know, no more baraki. I want an auto scanner and told you we're familiar, then we'll be left to do the remaining bit. May God bless you. As a Mogotia, Yasava, Borago, and Cherendavu, and as a saying when you can take a man or run and to a call a ticket, I get to be a Kimutu Avery, Yasava name. Ah, the pastor's come. You are doing your job now, not an elder. Pastor, see me? Uh, na Pastor Mokaya. I sing in Java, Chira. I watch, I sing in Java, and Gava Sanibo Moraka. These two pastors, especially Pastor Simi, uh, has prayed in this home many times. Uh, some of you will not know. Uh, ah, and uh, so they are going to pray. There's something I forgot to say. As some of is written here. We are not going to talk about it. But I'll say one thing. Mze uh, campaigned for Raila Odinga in 2013 and in 2017. And that is why He had even promised to come here to this home, but uh, because of this uh, uh, virus, everything has gone the way it has gone. So, Mujue ya kwamba alikuwa mwana siyasa, lakini ile kasi ya alikuwa napenda ya saidi ni kasi ya mungu. So, awa wili, watasema neno moja, alafu watatueka mikononi mwa mungu. Asante si itasema mengi kwa sababu sote tunafahamu masharti ya serikali na biblia iwazi ya kwamba ni heri kuti na tunataka tuweze kuti uh, i think tumesimama na familia hii uh, is my family also na all we are saying is that kwamba tunawatakia mema ya kwamba Mungu akawashikilie hata japo mzee ameondoka uh, neno la Mungu ambalo alilipenda ndilo tutakalo washikilia hiyo ningependa kusema ili nimpishe pastor Bukaya labda aseme neno moja uh, kisha uh, aweze kuomba nitaomba na okay that's fine. Na wasalimu hamjambo. Nataka tunasome fungu moja kutoa kitabu cha ufunuo 21 mstari wake wa kwanza. Yohana alipokuwa pale kisiwani aliongea mambo mengi na neno kuu ambalo linalotufariki kwa wakati huu kwa dakika moja ama mbili. Yohana anasema ya kwamba kisha nikaona mbingu mpya na nchi mpya. Kwa maana mbingu za kwanza na inji za kwanza zilikuwa zimekwisha pita wala pakuwa na bahari tena nami nikauona ule mti mtakatifu Jerusalem mpya ukishuka toka mbinguni kwa Mungu umekwisha kuwa tayari kama bia rushi aliyekwisha kupambwa kwa mumewe nikasikia sauti kubwa naye atafuta kila njonzi katika majo yao 
wala mauti haita kuwepo tena wala maomboleso wala kilio wala maumivu hayata kuwepo tena kwa kuwa mambo ya kwanza yatakuwa yamekwisha pita neno kuu ambalo nalotaka kufarijiana kwa jumla ni kwamba yule mchi mtakatifu Yohana aliona ni kwamba Mungu atakapokuja atafuta kila njonzi kutoka majo yetu na maumivu hayata kuwepo maombolezo hayata kuwepo kwa hivyo tuendelee kutamani ili tuingie katika ule mchi ambao hakutakuwa na fipo hakutakuwa na utengano where people will live together with God na Mungu aendelee kutubariki na tusimame kwa maombi mtakatifu baba ushie chumbi nguni tumekuja katika familia hii kwa sababu mzee ametuaja kwa njia pekee bwana Tuomba endelea kufariji familia kwa njia hii na kwa njia ile. Na hadi ambao umetoa kwamba hivi karibuni Yesu yuwaja na utafuta majonzi yetu. Alafu tuingie katika ule mchi ambao kutakuwa na kifo, mahali kutakuwa na utengano, mahali tutakaa na we milele na milele. Bwana katika inji yetu hii na dunia nzima kuna mambo imeingia hapa na pale, magonjwa imeingia yale yaliyotabiliwa. Tuomba Bwana uendelee kutakasa na ile damu ya Yesu iliyotilika pale msalabani ili Bwana mapenzi yako yatimike na tupate nafasi kwa jumla. Tukimbilie kama inji na kila mmoja akimbie kwako ili Bwana ikiwa tutalala tulale tukiwa tumekuamini. Tuomba Bwana mapenzi yako yaendelee kutendeka katika mkutano huu na katika familia hii uendelee kuwa mfariji wa pekee. Na Yesu unapoendelea kuna kili majina ya wale watakaulitu ufalme wa mbingu. Tuomba Bwana endelea kukumbuka majina yetu katika kile kitabu cha uzima. Na wala wachapata nafasi Yesu kukukimbilia. Hebu na wakimbie kwako kwa ajili ya kukuamini. Niposa kila mmoja we na ule usemo wa milele. Kwa pamoja nasi katika kila jambo naendelea kutulinda hapa na pale ni katika jina la Yesu tuomba na kuamini. Amen. Amen. Tunge penda ya kwamba familia ile ya karibu ije hapa karibu lakini zingatia the social distance na wengine tafadhali tunashukuru sana kwa kuja e, mnaweza kunawa pale ili kila mtu aweze kuzingatia afya e, tunapoondoka asante sana karibuni sana uh, asaigo kuna machikate bwa bwana na bodenda abande na matoko kenda ngatosoke ko chiabwo ngora 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 tuondoke pole pole
shall come with shout of acclamation prepared for the good and blessed waiting his part of so power to unfold time's dark night of sorrow will wear away when our Savior will pronounce the glad word well done faithful servant thy title is clear to end the joy of the Lord
Nafikiri tumemaliza tunafurahi ya kwamba sherehe ya mzee imekwenda nzuri. Pasa Bukaya tungekualika ili tufanyie ombi la mwisho hapa ili tuweze kuondoka. Mtakatifu baba uishie mbinguni. Natoa shukulani kulinsi wako pekee umekuwa pamoja nasi. Asandi bwana kwa mipangilio ya siku ya leo. Usea melala. Kwaomba bwana mapenzi yako yaendelee kutendeka katika hii familia. Na wale wote ambao bwana tumejumuika hapa ya kufanya yaliyo makuu katika maisha ya kila mmoja wetu ili Yesu tukutasame pale msalabani na pale msalabani ndio sehemu kila mtu atapata usima wa milele ile damu iliyotirika pale msalabani ilete bwana wa mwisho mkuu katika maisha ya kila mmoja na uanda hapa wengi kwa ajili ya ule ufalme bwana kwa jumla tuunganike katika lile kundi kubwa litakalo kulaki utakapokuja Tutoke hapa tukiwa na uhakika ya kwamba wale wamelala wakiwa wamekuamini kuna ufufuo. Na huo ufufuo ndio tunaotarajia utakapokuja utupeleke katika inji hakuta kuwa na kifo. Hebu Bwana endelea kuwa mfariji mkuu katika hii familia na utuongoze katika haya maisha ni katika jina la Yesu tuomba na kuamini. Amen. You are watch Provence Audiovisual TV. Subscribe. Like. Comment and share.